Now students let's start reading from the textbook for the better understanding of the chapter. Uh, so I have already given you introduction about the author and said enough about him. Now let's move to its our chapter. So students the word pancake from the title poets and pancakes is the name of a makeup brand that Gemini Studios used in large amounts. And it's very popular brand used by famous celebrities. You will see in the stanza one, there are some names mentioned here. Uh, Greta Garbo, Miss Gohar, Vijayanti Mala, Rati Agno, uh, Nehotri. And, and may um, ha not have heard of the brand as she entered the industry later and probably. The brand was no longer in use then. The lessons begin with a brief description about the makeup room of Gemini Studios which was situated on a higher level floor of the building. The place was earlier believed to be Robert Clive's stables. Uh, now who is Robert Clive? Robert Clive was an English soldier and statesman who expanded British power in India. Many other buildings in the city are identified as place of his residence which is evident of the fact that he moved frequently. He is believed to have fought some impossible battles in remote areas of India. He married a young woman in St. Mary's Church in Fort St. George in Madras. You know, uh, children, the makeup room had uh, the look of a hair-cutting saloon, right? And uh, around six, seven large mirrors surrounded by large bulbs around them. And, you know, um, it looked, um, you know, it looked like there was so much light falling on the people who were sitting there. And, you know, the heat was emitted and it was such an uncomfortable position for these actors who was getting their makeup there. Uh, you know, this um, makeup uh, makeup uh, department was first headed by a Bengali, then a Mara it was supervised by a Maharashtrian who was uh, assisted by Dharawar Kanadiga and an Andhra, a Mahara Madras in, in Christian and Anglo-Burmese and usual local Tamils. And it looked as if it was a picture of a national integration. Right, and it uh, it was long before actually Doordarshan broadcast the program on national integration. The author here he mentions that is uh, that this team of nationality nationality unified man had the ability to turn any simple looking individual in ugly creature using heaps of um, pancake products, customized lotions, por portions. In those days, near about five person movies were shot shot outdoors, and rest of them were shot indoors. Thus, indoor shooting setup lights required the actor to wear loads of makeup in order to look presentable in front of the camera even it made them look ugly in real life uh, you know students just like any organi organization there was like you know strict hierarchy was maintained in makeup department um, like, um, you know, that cheap makeup ma man made the lead actors and actresses ugly. His, I mean, it's just a pun here. Uh, he actually, he was one who uh, ha put this makeup on them. The junior assistant, the main comedian and the office boy helped in making the remaining crowd like uh, ugly. And that means to put a makeup on them. The whole, their whole idea was to cover and each and every blemish on face. Um, and that these people should look good on screen. The fact that makeup studio had its own office boy is significant enough to highlight the size of these studios. The office boy at Gemini Studios was not a boy. He was basically a man in his like in his like 40s and who never got a chance to perform really well and though he had these capabilities so he was always angry he was full of these bitter feelings and uh, he looked always annoyed you know the um, job of Ashok Mitra in those days um, basically what he was uh, supposed to do 
uh, he was like um, his job was to uh, cu cut these newspaper clippings he had to cut these newspaper clippings and so uh, ashoka the duty of ashoka mitran in gemini studio was to cut newspaper clippings on a side, wide variety of subjects store them in files many of these had to be written out by hand he was given small area in room with french windows one of, of its sides considering the nature of job you know that people in um, people what did people actually think of him they thought like he was doing some useless job and his work was not actually important enough so anybody whosoever wanted to like vomit out their worries and their anxieties they just entered his um, cubicle and started giving him any sort of lecture um the boy from the makeup department was very well con uh, convinced that the main reason for all his ma misery was kota mangalam subu Subu was a privilege enough to get better opening in films than the makeup boy even though he was less educated entered this line in his initial states he was born brahmin which was considered to be virtue because of which he could associate with well off people and be in comfortable situations he was a cheerful man capable of keeping a happy face even after his film could not actually do well You know, 